I'd like to give you a side-by-side -side demonstration so you can see all of the techniques that we've discussed so far. It'll be the same problem over and over again, but in the different venues. A problem? The first thing we have to decide is where the first number is going to go of our uh, answer. 2 is smaller than 43. I'm moving over, so is 26. Here's the very first time we're finding this block. We're going to use this block of numbers. 43 can be estimated at 40 for the, the uh, opportunity to choose our partial answers so we don't have to confuse ourselves with the totality of the 43. So at this point, we're going to say 4 goes into 2. 2 is too small. 4 goes into 26. Yes, 6 times. I'm putting the 6 above the last number in my block. Now I'm going to use the actual divisor to do the calculation. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry 1. 6 times 4 is 24, and 1 is 25. Since this is a partial answer, and division is a quick way to subtract, we're going to subtract off the 258. And we would get 1, and 6 take away 5 is 1. This would be 0. The next number we need to bring down is the 7. 11 is smaller than the 43, so that's our goal to, to proceed. We're going to bring down the 7. 4 goes into 1, no, into 11, yes, 2 times. 2 times 3, this is in the 1's column, I'm multiplying sideways. 3 is 6, and 2 times the 10's position is 8. I'm going to subtract because division is a quick way to subtract. 7 take away 6 is 1, and here is a, a borrowing situation, a regrouping. 11 minus 8 is 3. 31 is smaller than our divisor. There are no additional numbers left in the dividend, so we know that this is our remainder. So our answer to this problem is 62, remainder 31, and that's done with the traditional division algorithm. The area box method is as follows. Uh, the, all of the dividend is placed in the box. 43 is, is uh, outside, the divisor is outside. We can again estimate this to be 40 for our thinking purposes. We're going to decide where our first answer is going to go. Uh, 2 is too small, 26 is smaller than the 43, so we're going to be using this complete block of numbers. Uh, for the purpose of, of finding our answer, 4 goes into 2, no, into 26, yes, 6 times. But it's actually, now I have a number that's hanging off and out of the box. So really what I'm saying is it goes in 60 times. We're going to uh, multiply back. 0 times the 43 is 0. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry 1. 6 times 4 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. And we'll subtract. 7, 1, and 1. This remainder at this point, we don't have to worry about is it bigger or smaller than the answer that as we did in the traditional way. We just, we just know that we have an additional box. So another box is done, and this 117 is transferred to the second box. And we start our process again. Uh, 4 goes into 1, no. 4 goes into 11, 
Yes, two times. We're going to put a two here. Nothing is outside of the box. We use the whole thing. So it's just a two. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. We will subtract. Eleven take away eight is three. Thirty-one is smaller than the divisor, so we, are, we know we're finished at this time. These were partial answers, so we're going to add them together. 62 is our answer with a remainder of 31. This time our boxes are set up in four. We have four digits in our dividend, so each, each uh, number gets its own box. Again, we can think of this as 40. 43 will not go into 2. It's too small, so the answer is 0. 0 times any number is 0, so when we subtract, the 2 will be remaining and be bumped forward. 26 is also smaller than the divisor. It again is a 0. 0 times anything is 0. We subtract, we will get 26. That is put forward. Now 4 goes into 2. No, 26, yes, 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry 1. 6 times 4, 24, and 1 more is 25. That is subtracted. We get 11. 11 is put forward into the last box to join up with the 7 that's already there. 4 goes into 11 two times. 2 times 3, which is in the 1's column, is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. 11 take away 8 is 3. 31 is smaller than 43, so we are done. That's the remainder. And the answer here is 62, remainder 31.